What's up, y'all? Kyle here. You're watching Driving and Vibing. I'm here at the California RV Show, bringing you all the coolest new RVs on the market. Today is no different because we're talking about the Momentum G-Class Toy Hauler, one of the coolest grand design rigs out there. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And thank you big time to RV Life and RV Trip Wizard, two great tools for routing your RV trip, especially if you're in a big fifth wheel like this. RV Trip Wizard lets you set all your unique RV specs and your travel preferences, so you'll always be finding the best route and never cross a low hanging bridge, saving you some time and frustration. So check those out, I'll drop the links below but I am excited to get to this Momentum G-Class. A lot of you guys have asked for toy hauler RVs and this one is one of the best I've seen. So let's get in there. All right, so let me read off some of these specs because I know I won't be able to remember them all. But before we get into the big tour, I wanna to give you some of the major specs that might affect how you view the rig. The weight of the rig is 12,700 pounds. The exterior length is 38 feet and nine inches. The tire size is 16 inch G-rated tires. Fresh water, 117 gallons. Gray water, 78 gallons. And waste water, 78 gallons. Those are some of the basic specs before we dive into the fun stuff. So let's look around this rig and see what we find. So just starting with a basic walk around of the rig, one of the key features that I love is this deck. So it is a toy hauler. This can go all the way to the ground. You can bring your toys up here, but also we've got this awesome railing around here with a gate to turn it into a deck whenever you're set up camp. So you can have your pets out here. You can have your kids out here and you know, you could just sit out here and drink a nice beer while you're enjoying the sunset. I love these type of rigs with the exposed patio on the back, creating awesome extra space. We'll get inside and look at it a little further from the inside, but right now, just doing a quick walk around and this is the key feature that stands out to me. This is on the driver's side of the rig. On the back side, we walked around from the deck. You got a nice access ladder up here to be able to access the roof. You know, the typical setup as far as the um, black water outlet, you got some access panels here, the city water hookup, pretty basic setup over here, but I do like the sturdy ladder. Not all RVs have a super sturdy ladder. I've climbed up on some fifth wheels that have made me slightly worried. This looks like a good connection and uh, great roof to access up there to put some solar panels on. As we walk further down on this side, you can see the two um, slide outs right here, creating some more space on the inside. You also got some storage and access compartments over here. And that's where the furnace is and the electrical hookup. You know, underneath here is where you're gonna find the generator. You know, typical Cummins generator in there. Typical fifth wheel setup out here, nothing extraordinary, but a lot of room is going to be created on the inside, I know, just looking at these slide outs. 
Let's walk around to the front and then we'll get to the good stuff. One last thing I want to mention before we go inside are these beautiful Moride steps. These steps are what we use on the Airstream and they are so sturdy. I would never want an RV without Moride steps. On their side, on the rear entry door, they do have more standard RV steps. Um, I'm sure you could install Moride steps there, but they look all right, but nothing compared to these Moride steps. So right when you walk in the front door, you can turn left to see the toy hauler area or come right to this kind of mixed use space where you have a comfortable sofa eating area, a table eating area, and a beautiful kitchen. This has so much counter space right here. And it also has what looks like a TV that slides up right here. So you can watch TV while you're eating dinner. You got a nice control panel for the stereo, a nice faux fireplace down here to set the ambiance. This is a beautiful three burner stove, glass top you can set things on or lift it up for cooking. Propane oven, storage underneath, more storage underneath the sink. And uh, I just look at all this beautiful cabinetry up here. Sorry, my sunglasses were on, it looked dark, but uh, yeah, it is dark wood. And uh, it's got this nice glass finish pattern on it. I'm not upset with the way these cabinets look. A lot of times in RVs, it can be hit or miss. These are pretty sleek, pretty um, warm in here. So no complaints. And the best part about all of this is the counter space. Absolutely beautiful counter space in here. So here you can kind of get a better view and idea of the table they have. Now, you could put anything here. You could rearrange these, uh, this configuration to however you'd like, but the setup's pretty nice. And the fridge, obviously, oh, I mean, this is bigger than some residential fridges. Double doors, storage space on each side of the door, and then you have a double freezer up here. <laughs> Beautiful, I mean, this is like an RVer's dream at least in my world with our Airstream. But a uh, great, great space for the fridge. You got a little storage space up here. You can never go wrong with a little extra storage to throw stuff. Kitchen's great, floors are beautiful. Very, very happy with what I see here in the kitchen. So this is the bedroom and kind of cool layout. Some RVs have the bed in the middle of the bedroom with a small walking space on each side. This kind of splits the difference and pushes the bed all the way to one side to create a little bit of a larger walking space here so you can pull drawers out and actually access them more easily. I do like this layout better because of the use of space. It'll just be slightly hard to change the sheets on the wall side back here and here, but not a big issue. Great use of space so much storage over here the mirrors you can see the mirrors on these um doors pretty good rvs love mirrors for some reason i think they overdo it sometimes but the design does look nice you have two access ways to the bathroom one here through the bedroom and then also one kind of through the living room area and uh, a ac unit here in the bedroom as well feels pretty good i would be i'm pretty convinced this is a queen size bed, but it looks a little bit bigger than a queen, but kind of not as big as a king. All right, I could get comfy here. 
pretty nice. Nice countertop by the bed as well, so you can access your computer, cups, whatever you need. Sorry for the person sitting on this side. They get a short changed with like a four inch countertop. Still enough to sit a cup on though. So very cool design in here. So the bathroom's pretty nice too. Like I said, you got the two entryways. The toilet's kind of weird because it's sitting at an angle right by this entryway. Makes sense functionally, but just visually, it looks like kind of like the toilet's plopped in the middle of nowhere. But I mean, if you are in a larger person and you're sitting on the toilet, you have plenty of elbow room. I'm just not quite sure where the toilet paper goes, but either way, it's a functional use of space. It just doesn't make the most visual sense when I see it, but I do understand it and that's kind of cool. Shower is huge. Stand up in here and uh, my hands can touch the skylight, but I got tons of room to spread out. So the shower is great. And you got a nice little vanity over here with a sink, some storage underneath there, storage compartment behind the mirror, lots of storage in this rig and a, a really nice looking bathroom. I like the colors, I like the layout here. And the skylight really adds to the shower experience. So very cool. Now though, it's time for the most fun part. Let's head to the back and see what the toy hauler situation's like. So like I said, whenever we entered this rig, if you turn to the left, you get to the toy hauler area. Right now, the toy hauler area is kind of set up with two bunk style beds. These can raise up, opening up this whole space so you can get some good equipment back here, whether it's an ATV or some motorcycles. But also, if you're on a family vacation, not hauling anything around with some extra kids, stick them up here, down here. You got a bathroom right here too. So they have their own separate bathroom. It's not gonna have a shower in it, but we still have the sink, the toilet, so they don't have to go up to the other end of the rig and use your nice bathroom. Uh, it makes a lot of good sense. Beyond these beds is where the deck is. And the deck adds a whole nother room to this unit. And I tell you, the kids would love it if they were sleeping back here to have access to the outside and really see uh, all of nature and have that area but at nighttime, you can close that up and protect it from the elements too. So whatever type of environment you're in, you can make it so it's still very comfortable. We got some windows back here, so it's not so um, dark. And you even have that side door that I was talking about with the different stairs, not the Moride stairs, but still the side door access, whether if you wanna give whoever's sleeping here their own access, or you just wanna access your toys, you can come through here, kinda use this as the mud room, keep the rest of the area pretty clean. So I am a huge fan of this Grand Design. I've loved Grand Design since Jason and Ray of the Getaway Couple introduced us to theirs. This is a great unit for the people who want to haul the toys around. Other Grand Designs are better for just living space, but this one really joins living space and the option to haul your toys around. All right, y'all, so let me know what you think about this Momentum Toy Hauler G-Series. A lot of you asked about seeing these toy haulers. I was pretty impressed with this one, and I forgot to mention the outdoor stereo system. <laughs> so you can have a good time outside or inside. Great rig. One last shout out to RV Life and RV Trip Wizard. Again, if you're in a rig of this size, I would not travel without pre-planning your trip, and the RV Trip Wizard really lets you do that. I'll drop all the links below. Thank you again for watching. Tune in tomorrow for more of the California RV Show Series. We'll see you next time.